The new camera that's coming this year from Arri will be a B-mount native camera. It will be a 24 volt camera and that's because within that camera we have really exciting image quality improvements that we just need more power for. As we have increased demands for resolution, for color bit depth, for frame rate, all these things require more processing which requires more power and so we've made the decision to change to 24 volt as the standard across Arri appliances and certainly B-mount will be the foundation of that. And then to you as a filmmaker, your mood is going to start going up and down like the stock market because why? You've lost all the money. Ari have been promoting this camera or hinting about this camera for two years now and I like what they're doing because they're actually trying to see what people are going to say, what people are going to think and then they will drop it sometime when they are ready. And I remember the first time when they hinted about their camera and my friend called me and said, hey, one, you better put your Ari Alexa on the market so you can actually serve for the new one, which I actually did. And let me tell you one thing that I like Ari camera for. So I posted my camera on Instagram and within 10 minutes, the camera was sold. And that is incredible. And again, let's say you do have an Alexa Mini and they release a Mini LF and they release something else, that Alexa Mini would still have value and that is very good for anyone that invests their money in a camera. But if that was with another brand, let's say you do have their A camera and they release the B camera and the C camera, the A camera would lose value so, so much and then to you as a filmmaker, your mood is gonna start going up and down like the stock market because why? You've lost all the money. So Ari, obviously man's not, not buying an Ari Alexa again unless the second one is affordable because listen, I find a cheat code that I've kind of managed to match, match my Blackmagic Pocket 6K and 6K Pro to the um, Alexa Mini that I had. And I'm actually, I've been developing that a lot, which I might drop soon on this YouTube channel. So again, another thing that Ari mentioned is they trying to make B-mount their standard, which is cool. And I like how clever Ari is because they say, listen, if we put restriction on using this, it's not gonna take off. And the way to make this take off is let give these people it for free. So if you're a company in China, America, whatever you live, and let's say you wanna make a battery mount or a battery or anything you wanna make B mount, they'll be like, hey, go and do that. So a little problem that I have is that now I really want the uh, battery release to be on the actual battery. And something that I'm loving about the battery technology in 2022 is that company have managed to kind of make batteries smaller because they have the technology and then having to add the battery release on the battery rather than on a plate it got me thinking how if it's not even how if first of all that battery is going to be very chunky and that battery is going to be very heavy and expensive i understand i really do not make camera for school boys but we have to start somewhere so i'm representing all of you guys out there so again i'm looking forward to seeing actually the um that battery release to be on the battery itself rather than being on a plate Ari, like why did you even decide to do this imagine having 10 battery which i think i've got 7 v mount batteries and i just like to put them on a plate the actual release is on a plate not on a battery but hey some people have way more technology and design skills than other i'm looking forward to see how they are actually going to kind of um work around this and i know maybe ari is like yeah people have been asking for more uh, resolution and now we need to give them that camera that is going to be netflix approved and most people are not even aware that the alexa mini is not a net netflix approved and finally ari is like yes we, we will give you that camera and in this video they actually say that it's going to be out this year so one thing again that i love about ari is because it is the second camera choice for every dp out there and then you might think well is it not the first but no every dp 
would die to shoot on IMAX, but because IMAX is not really accessible and it's really expensive, and that's why people tend to come to ARI. First of all, because ARI don't even care about any other thing than other company push forward. So let's say every other company is probably like, yeah, let's put the quantity of the resolution out there. Let's do this 6, 7, 8K, 12K. Ari's like, no, we need to focus on the um, quality of the pixels because that is what actually matter. And that's why you can actually still get like a very old Ari classic and you can actually compare to the, to the new cameras and you still love the, um, the roll off of the Ari classic and the way it just renders skin tone because they focus so much on their sensor and they believe, which is actually true, that um, the quality of the sensor are better than the quantity of the sensors. So again, guys, let's see what Ari is going to say. And I can imagine them making a smaller camera that might be, I don't know how affordable it's going to be, but whichever they decide to do or whatever they decide to do, that camera is going to be great. And another thing that I do love about the B-mount is the technology that they might use where whether you use a 12 volt or 24 volt, the camera is going to kind of detect that and signal to the camera or to anything that, hey, this battery is 12 volt, this battery is 24. So that is really, really good. So Ari, I'm looking forward to seeing that technologies. Guys, comment below what you think, but I just thought I'll jump on here and tell you what I think about the Ari. Alexa mini or micro or whichever camera they are going to call it. So that's it guys. Peace.